previously on Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I was actually thinking of requesting you for some mentoring. <gasps> so God called you, good for him. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> that's funny. And now back to Jesus Christ. Hey Nico, when are you gonna play Xenoblade 3? God damn it, Samus, I'm doing it now. Sneak B! Back with some more Xenoblade Chronicles 3. When we last left off, Alexander attempted to uh, make amends with Valdi, who was just kind of like, didn't even really remember what the hell happened with between them. And in a shocking twist, it turns out that castle that we thought we killed before at Valdi's colony was still alive. And he informed us that apparently Alexander actually poisoned her last boss because he was just so inept he was going to run the colony into the ground which was a pretty incredible twist. I'm not going to lie. I definitely didn't see that shit coming. Now I will say, I, I do, I did see some comments about this and I thought, sorry, I have to agree a little bit. It does seem like we kind of let that shit slide a little too much, maybe, <laughs> but, you know, like I get that her intentions were good and that she didn't want the colony to like be destroyed by this guy. But at the same time, I was like, shit, man, wow. We're just like, we trust her and through the power of friendship. I mean, at the very least, I'm glad that we at least said, hey, you can't ever do that again though, right? And like, you know, if you did, we're gonna have to beat your ass. And normally I'd say in a uh, regular society, you probably would try her for that kind of, uh, for a crime like that. But I mean, we live in a weird ass world here, all right? We all just murder each other on the daily basis to feed the big old flame clock of the sky. So, you know, basically whatever, it's fine. But we also helped uh, Boliaris get over the uh, the death of uh, Ethel and uh, take over the control of Colony 4. And I will say, I, I actually find, I think Boliaris is sort of like, like the one character that almost feels like he could have been a hero or a party member who isn't here because he's been a, he's been in a lot of these side quests and has been a pretty big focus i like him he's cool not saying they necessarily even need to be a hero i'm actually just glad that there's a character like this you know that it's not just like oh yeah it's always the heroes and fuck everybody else no they're doing a pretty damn good job of characterizing even the people that aren't like members of your party in some way in each of the colonies there's always like there's you know, some fairly recognizable npcs but i would say out of all of them i think boliaris is probably the most notable one and yeah this side stuff's been great man i've really been enjoying it i think very likely this video will actually be the last of the uh, side content for uh for a while because we're getting pretty close i think to the end <laughs> so what do you guys say technically at this point this uh series of side quests we've been on for chapter five is taking up like a third of the let's play god damn when you say it like that it's like holy crap how, how long this has been going for but i at least have really been enjoying it and i'm just happy to see that they put so much time into making this side content as enjoyable as possible but anyway last episode uh race in three three four five said alex i fucking hate you baldy Always nice to make new friends. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I, I I like how oblivious Voldy was like to the whole thing. He's just like <laughs> Alexander's just giving him the coldest oh, shoulder and just treating him like absolute shit and Voldy's just like, Well, oh, you were the best of friends now. <laughs> when they come back after they've had like no conversations between then and that point. So they come back and we're like, It's okay, because we're already best friends, right? And she's like, Ah no! <laughs> Fuck you! Good old Valdi. Also, you guys point out that it's like this thing that I kind of forgot. Technically, Alexandria and Valdi are actually supposed to be the same age. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I really believe that. Alexandria looks like she'd be in her 30s. <laughs> and Valdi just looks like a little baby. But anyway, racing, thank you so much for your hilarious comment. And it's that reason you are comment of the day. But okay, so all we have left now at this point is Colony Lambda here and then Colony 9. I don't know if uh, Juniper and Xeon are getting uh, Ascension quests or not. Currently, all the I think all the quests I got here actually didn't seem to tie to... What was the name of their quest again? Learning from Lambda. Uh, not yet. Okay, let's start from this one. Lost, lost friend. Worryingly, contact's been lost with Imogen, who was headed to Colony 4. Go see if she's all right. Or I could just walk into one by accident. Honorine, do you have a second? Ah, I've had it with you! Huh? How many times do I have to tell you? I do not have time for this! <laughs> Would like to eat meat, please! Oh, <laughs> these guys. Would like to eat sweets, please! Forest is too scary and full of bugs, please fix! What the? Who and what am I even looking at here? Nobody the fuck! They ultimate no-pound fusion! It is rare to meet! 
Why are you guys okay with this? This isn't normal. Juniper, I beg you, please just think about these furballs. Kill them. Kill them! Like what? How you say such thing when we come all this way for you? You didn't come for me. You came for yourselves. I went to Colony Fair to learn a bit about machines. I look out with these lousy no pod. Whoa, just chill for a second. Get no head up. Ain't gonna solve anything. Eating sweets is good for help of issue of anger management. I'm done. I'm just so fucking done. Give me a minute and I'll boot them out. Or we could resolve it with no booting necessary. Oh, come on, Juniper. I can't believe you're signing with them over me. Well, while we're here, why not listen to what they have to say? You good and understanding person. All we want to do we really is help. Oh, what are you going to help with? We went very whiz with machine and we make very interesting things for you. The only thing you've made for us is a giant dent in our food supply, you walking stomachs. Meh, what stay not honor? Okay, I'm officially all no pond out. Gotta check on the meat, I'm dying. Miss our food. Yeah, I have to do it in a hut, which is enough for chore already. So I really do not have time to be for these jokers today. It's fucking bonnet. Oh. Is that... Inconvenience! Oh, I finally clicked, did it? Yes, you are an inconvenience to me, you fuzzy nuisances! Honoreen, please calm down. I've never seen you like this. Look, drawing and smoking meat takes a lot of work. Colony Tao is a special place. I know, that, I know that to you. It may seem that our ways are inefficient, but... Yes, that's exactly why we're here. Can help with Bill's meat smoker. What? But currently, parts of smoker is missing. Cure for this is, is procure for us. You could do something like that. Why didn't you just say so? We're going to want to eat meat soon, so smoker should be built. Snip snap. Nope, can't talk to him. Nopon always very devoted to fulfilling of own wishes. <laughs> very, very noble trait. Okay, so if, say, we were to get you the parts you need for the smoker, you'd be able to build it. Nopon always keep word, can rely on us. Okay, good. Honorine, we'll need, we need your help, too. Fine, just for you, Juniper. You know they aren't being malicious. See if we can get them these parts. Good lucks. I hope everyone's getting... Uh, okay, that was not the quest I wanted to start, but fuck it, we'll do it now, after all. <laughs> I want them gone. Yeah, so they're he's, they're sharing personnel with four Colony 4, Colony 30, and Colony Gamma. And these Nopon are from Colony 30, more than likely. Bring parts for Smoker. What was it they needed Hopefully. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my god, are you serious? Uh, 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 uh. These all go by 5%. There. This plenty. We start work. Start work right straight away. You guys stay like that all the time. That should be it, right? It enough. Now construction a smoker as possible. And for the rumor you sent us on you, if you said it was impossible, I'd boot you out here myself. Behold, Saladin brothers, amazed with power of skill of no pun. Now construction begin. Like that smoker. How long is this gonna take? I bet you anything this was a scam from the start. Yes, we eat parts you give us. No pun not capable of scam. I don't know about that. We, we literally ran to what that was selling fucking no pun drugs. It's true, it's harder to build than project, than project SMSA and schedule look dicey, but we finished work. They're not quite enough screw, but it's still very immovable. Well, finished already, so how does it? No, no, hang on. They straight up just brushed a whole bunch of major issues under the carpet. Tito can wait for later. It's time to see his baby in action. Oh god, we're all about to fucking die now. So this is a smoker. Impressive. Miko in here. Then press button. It's like easy pot. And smoking of meat is complete. That amazing banana want to test. We know you're going to say that. Do you have some meat ready for the inaugural smoking then? We already tinker machine to smoke ready. Preparation of meat is Java, friends. Why am I not surprised? What kind of meat do you think would be best? Any meat is fine. Fling it in and, bo and Bob is uncle pawn of you. <laughs> Sounds like it's time for a hunting trip, Ronnerin. You wait here. We'll be back in a flash. Thanks to Sarf for all this. Okay. At this point, I have. I, come on. I have to have plenty of it already, right? I'm not particularly good with machines. I wonder if I could operate this. What was it they needed again? <gasps> Fucking bonnet meat! 
Ugh. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. It's a fucking bonnet. What's guaranteed satisfaction had? It's a stunning piece of work, and it smokes beautifully. And it tastes good, too. Now you admit power of skill of no pun. Yeah, it's certainly more mortifying to admit it, but you did a good job. I know I never have been able to make something like this. No need for stop. Please do keep showering with praise. Praise, make no button grow. Son and brothers, available for all smoking needs. Really glad you came to us. We can make as many smokers as needed. Can you now? That'll sort of be good for colony development. Now you respect no pun, yes? Then it's time for you to provide three snack for three hard worker. Yeah, yeah, I'll do just that for you at least. Return, you can teach me the ins and outs of this thing. I can learn a lot from it. Is deal. Looks like everything turned out okay in the end. Yeah, all wrapped up neatly. Except for one thing. Who ate my fucking meat? Was it you, lads? What? Well, you're saying he's something that's been meaty, and I, I, it was pretty meaty, I think. Because it was me. You shut up! Damn it! I was gonna eat that! Which is. How the spark did they not fall over? <laughs> <laughs> Womp womp! That ended like a fucking sitcom there. Da 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 da. Fucking credits roll. <laughs> The Sound and Brothers Adventure revolutionized Colony Town's lifestyle and already decided to accept them into the community. I hope everyone's getting along. I feel like we all learned some stupid shit. I think. I want them gone to teach me the tech, baby. Oh, we're the smoker girl. I guess I can't use it myself uh, anymore after that. Yeah, so now they're sharing personnel, not frowny face anymore. They are they are happy face. I think the the other two missions are involve Colony 4 and Colony Gamma as well. I, I got it. Get those resolved and they all turn happy face, which is good. Also, more of these quests. Hey, uh, got them all. Puffing necklace. Yummy. Okay, now what I was going to do. Burnley contestman lost the image in who was headed to Colony 4. See if she's all right. That's odd. No sign of image in anywhere. She definitely says she was going to Colony 4. Have you tried getting in touch with her? I've tried a few times, but she never picks up. Do you think she got caught up in something? I don't get that impression. If she had, then it would be unusual for everyone to be acting so normally in Colony 4. You're right about that. She's gone out the colony, and it's going to be a challenge to find her. I think we can... All we can do is ask around here. Holy shit! That's a lot of icons. Hello, all. Hello to you, Agnes friend. <laughs> I'm actually looking for someone. Do you know an image in? She, yes, she came from Tony Town, I think. So you know her? Let's we'll say we're particularly well acquainted, but... She was suspicious. Suspicious? That's not the image you might know. She always seemed to be looking for something, sniffing around the procurement division and the tactician squad. That said, she looked a little too conspicuous to be a spy. Interesting. Okay, thanks for your help. Okay. We're looking for a colony task soldier named Imogen. Can you tell us anything about her? Meh! Imogen's friend say! Right. No one's been able to get in touch with her. We're a bit worried. She looked very pondering, but cook 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 just not talk with her. I see. Well, thanks anyway. Sorry, Coach, no more helping. That was important information to put in here. Hello, sir. We're looking for a social called Imogen. Do you know anything about her? It's a bit random. Imogen? Yeah, she's supposed to have a co come to Colony 4. No one's been able to reach her. She's from Agnes, isn't she? I know she arrived here a short while ago. Not sure where she is now, though. Oh. I mentioned she came asking the same thing. You mean? She was looking for someone. Any idea who? How my suspicions actually, but I guess any more about it. Ugh, why not? I just can't. I'm sorry, but that's all I can tell you. All right, thanks for your help. Weird. Excuse me. What's this now? Don't get many visitors here. Does the name Imog Imogen mean anything to you? We we're trying to find her. Imogen? Yeah, I remember her. She came in once looking at Levinus's strange look in her eyes. You know her? She rolls a corpse out on. Told her not to come in here looking and so grim and center packing. I I see. It's an old battleground nearby, so I told her to go go and straighten herself out a bit. Mind her that there's a war on. Thank you for the information. Okay. Well he told us he told us where she probably went. Okay, I'm lost. So where did Imogen go? You know she was definitely in Colony 4 at some point. It's only speculation, but I think Imogen's looking for someone working outside the colony. Alessandra from the medic team in Salon of the Procurement Division have both been known to work further afield. But it doesn't seem like she... I think I have an idea. Just a little one, but still. Imogen was still a bit hung up when the colony was freed. Hung up? On what exactly? She had a friend who was killed in a battle with another colony. A really close friend. 
So you think she might be searching for whoever killed her friend? But why focus on Colony 4? No idea. We were fighting Colony 4 back then. But if the colony you were fighting was destroyed and its soldiers reassigned... Maybe she heard something about it from one of the Nobon caravans and set off to track them down? It's possible, but we can't say, that much, say much more than that. So, this is about revenge? Spark me! She wouldn't. We're kind of a loose end here, anyhow. Where are the Queen's royal robes could she be? We heard that she'd been sent to the battlefield. May, may as well search along that way. What do you say? Hmm. Let's. I hope she hasn't gone and done anything stupid. Revenge! Revenge is a dish best served stupid, as we all know. Ah, there she is. Just standing out here with a bunch of squirrels who are digging things up. Imogen! Juniper? What are you doing here? That's what I want to know. What's going on here? Why have you been in contact? Sorry, I lost track of time. It's your idea of a nice day out or something. No, not really. I'm not doing anything out of here. Just hanging out with my squirrel friends that are running into us. What do you mean by that? Kima is searching for whoever killed... It's okay, I know. But there's no one left to find. He died soon after he was reassigned here. It's all that's left to even show there was a battle here. Were you going to avenge your friend? No. When the flame clock was broken, for some reason I saw my friend's face. And also their killers. It's the worst feeling, isn't it? I started to wonder what the killer was doing with his life. I wanted to meet him, just once, so I could go to him! But it was too late. Everyone in Colony 4 said he fought bravely for his friends. So he couldn't get the closure he needed. I didn't get to meet him. But I kind of feel better about it all. He was fighting for something, too. He was our enemy, and I hated him so much. But he was still just a soldier with friends he cared for. You're right. And this feelings of friendship are something we hold on to as well. I'm sorry I made you come all this way. Should we go back to town? Not yet. The guy's just... I want to stay here a bit longer. Connie Ford would have considered me an enemy at one time. But they treat me so kindly. I want to learn from them before I go back. Got it. It could be a good experience for you. But please, please, please keep in touch, okay? I will. Thanks, Juniper. And you too. <laughs> Interesting. That was actually one of the rare, like... that Funny that that discussion there wasn't in like a cutscene form where we were like standing, you know... Because that, like, that's another thing that they've done here, right? That has been made it better than a lot of like older quests in like one and two to some extent was that we weren't just like standing around like a lot of the quests don't have us just standing around with like the camera like this and like game uh normal game mode it like has like the camera cuts jumping between different character faces and and stuff like that kind of funny this one ended with just like a regular conversation here though since after being free of the flint clock i'm going to the soldier who killed her friend and went to colony four looking for them Okay, cared about. And with that, they are now cooperating. Okay, and Cressia finds her calling. Cressia has returned from Colony Gamma and is now a specialist in making accessories. Go see how she's doing. Hey, Cressia, do you have a moment to talk? Sure, what's up? We are your quad for accessory maker. So we could take a gander at your work. Oh, I see. I do enjoy making things. I'm sure I'd say any of it was good, though. Don't be modest. Everyone in Gamma adores your work, don't they? Well, um, I guess. But I can just come out and say that myself. If your work is as lovely as it sounds, I think you're allowed to be proud of it. Yeah, I suppose. You know, you've actually come at a perfect time. I'm just talking about something. Oh, uh, yeah. Chrissy here has been telling me she wants to study more accessories. Hey! She's just too shy to say it. So what do you say? We should be able to bring some accessories here for her to study. Oh, fucking lord, I got a plenty of those. Hmm, I see. I mean, just, just less styles than things I've never seen before. <laughs> it's funny, her ears look more like bear ears or something. It's just a little hobby of mine, though. I wouldn't want to annoy the colony with it. On the contrary, the application of such skill might actually contribute a positive effect on colony development. And seriously, we have like a billion accessories at this point that I'll never use. What did you have in mind? If you can make accessories, you can sell them to other colonies. I think there'd be a decent market for it. Hmm, you're right. That idea, that sounds like a really good idea. So how's that sound, Kreska? You can use your hobby to help the colony out. I'll do my best. In that case, I think I really need to see other styles of accessories. Help me improve my craft. We can certainly help you out with that. 
Thank you. Then bring me as many different things as you can, please. Will do. You just sit tight. Be back before you can say, bang on trend. Yes, yeah, so if I don't already have everything I need right now, then the I currently have failed. What are we giving them? Uh, uh, oh my God. No fucking way. <gasps> what? How is this fucking possible? How? What? Is this like the most basic bitch shit or something? How is it possible that I... I have so many fucking accessories. What is this shit? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I don't believe it, dude. What is this shit that I, that I don't have it? I probably have like other versions of it, but not specifically the... These seem to be common ones. Oh my God. I, I can't even... I, really? Oh, I'm actually pissed that it's like I need... It requires specific ones of specific rarity. I definitely have fucking like power bangle shit. Yeah, I have like... I have a super rare vibrant arm ring, but I don't have a common vibrant arm ring. Oh my God. Fuck you. Ah, uh, I assume this is shit I could just buy in like a regular shop or in regular shops around. My stomach's I fucking growling. better. Okay, I decided to look it up. Apparently I can go to Colony 9 and actually purchase like all of these. So and I think I can actually also buy more than one of the same thing. Okay, that's good. At least, at least I can give them, like, once you find one of the items, you can just give it, give to them multiple times. I, I was afraid it was like, I had to get at least one of each of these. Then that this would have been a fucking bitch. I started thinking collected. Oh, now I get it. I think I've seen this before. Yes, now I get it. Yeah, it all makes sense now. Thanks so much. I really use this knowledge. Can we just really dive into this to show off what I've learned? Oh. I think I, think I might want to turn some colonies to my accessories. I like the idea. Mio, do you know any good colonies to start with? Let me think. Maybe Colony Mew? I think your style would go down with well with the people there. Colony Mew, hmm? Okay, I'll try out. Go try my luck. We'll pop it and see how you're doing later, yeah? Yeah, good plan. Why don't you, why don't you go, Caressia? I guess we'll go check up on her then. She went to the adorable, the adorable Colony Mew. The cutest colony in all the land. She's got a little shop here. Oh, hi. Thanks for coming. How's it going? Not bad. I managed to get all the relevant approvals. People have been really nice to me. Hmm, I think this one's cuter. What do you think, Nico? <gasps> what? What do I think? Well, I think it looks... Between this one or that one. Hmm, I, the one and only Nico. No! No, you're not the only one! No! That's a lie! Fucking lie! Just trying to gaslight me! Can't decide. Look at all the customers I've gotten. It's all thanks to you. I'm a bit nervous when I comes to showing my things in the public, though. You know what? I'm gonna just tell everyone about your work. Oh, that would be lovely. But you don't have to go to... Just wait here. Yay! <laughs> and she's gone. Let's stick around and see what happens, shall we? So sorry, I can only get a hold of everyone... Of everyone today. Oh, no, it's fine. I'm just grateful people came to look at my work at all. I bet you'll get more customers dropping into browse as time goes on as well. Especially so. Better improve my stock in preparation. We'll do all your marketing. Trust me, you're going to be the next big thing. Thank you. Honestly, I'm just happy that you've let me use the space. I feel like I can manage the rest of my own. I get it. I'll be cheering for you. That's a good attitude. But let me know if you're ever in a tight spot, okay? Okay, but until then, I'm going to see how far I can get under my own steam. Thank you, everyone. And I'll perfect my R for Colony Tau. Then I can make this work. It's you, Caressia. Nico's really sorry to butt in, but Nico, that's me. No, me. Needs your expert opinion on which of these suits Nico better. Yeah, which one suits me better? Hmm, let's see, let me see. Which one? I'm glad she found her niche. Yeah, she's going places, all right. And by going places, I mean she's going to be standing there all day selling things. It's a wonderful feeling seeing your friends go out and find their place in the world. A place they can truly blossom. Okay, did she actually sell stuff? Caressia has been selling accessories in Colony Mew. Looks like it'll be a big contribution to Colony Tau. I hope everyone's getting along. <laughs> First customer. Cute. Everyone's tied to Nico. Where am I? This isn't my voice portrait at all. Oh, and that unites them with uh, Colony Mew. Good, good. Gotta watch the pennies. Oh, she does sell stuff. Cool. 
I don't have any of this either. It's all common stuff, but actually, this is pretty good. Boost smash damage by 75%. Yeah, get that shit and put that on a fuck. <laughs> put that on the uh, uh, the full metal Jaguar thing I had. Okay, well, that was all the quests I had at Calling Cow. Anything else pop up? Or is that it? I think that's it. Okay, so it looks like there's no Ascension quest yet for um for Juniper. All right, time to check Colony 9. I know that theoretically the textbook tells you how to raise a crop field, but yeah, I know. It doesn't assume you'll actually do it. I mean, there's only two sparking pages dedicated to it. The textbook. I haven't seen Kai and the others around these past few days. Didn't you hear? They got into a war of words with Zeon and then stormed out of the colony. Uh-oh. Got some issues how Zeon's been doing things for a while now. He ain't very well not come back. Ah, oh, whatever. Fuck him. Cat sucks anyway. Uh, okay, uh, Kai got missing is a quest. Uh, textbook isn't, so let's do this one first. Oi, Tyon, you've been keeping up with the old Agnes, Agnes textbook reading, right? Is that a bit pointless now? I mean, it's just roll on the same side and all that. Here's the thing. Before we came over Boros, I believed implicitly that every word in there was correct and accurate. That if I practiced what I taught, all would turn out to be to the benefit of my colony and my queen. But now... Now I know to, as do we all that it was no more than a Mobius deception. Right, so why waste any more time on it? Because if you think about it, textbooks contain information advantageous to Mobius. Do you see what I'm saying? If I can reverse engineer and analyze this advantageous information, I can find out about the real goals and intentions. Whoa, so you're reading them to like, learn more about your enemy? Dude! Information forms the basis of strategy. That's elementary tactician know-how. But it's also not like everything in there is backwards nonsense either. Consider the case of Colony 9's fields, for instance. So we can't just blindly trust what we read. We have to sort through the information and make up our own minds. I'm glad you're so quick to own the uptake. Interesting. Not a bad idea. All right, Kai got missing. Kai left Colony 9 with a few soldiers in town. Oh, what? What's that little div would think he's doing? <laughs> little div. Why would he... Agnes military activity was confirmed near Millic Meadows. Opinion was divided over how to deal with it. You're saying he's headed there. Surely he do even he doesn't think he can wreck a colony with so few people. The Agnes colony has advanced, but the scouts are reporting that they seem to be retreating from something. That's what Kite and I judged to be the case anyway. That's why he... <sighs> now people are unsure whether to ally ourselves with the colony that is the Agnian army on the run. I've told the scouts to look for Kite too. Problem is, he seems to have gone to ground somewhere. No one can find hide nor hair of him. I don't know which colony this is. The only ones fighting the war now are the ones that ally with the castle. Being colonies run by Mobius. What's your plan, Zeon? I want to find Kite before he puts himself in danger. Will you help? Suppose we got to now. I mean, yeah, but what are we meant to do if we don't know where he is? Kite has plenty of friends among the soldiers of Colony 9. If we ask around, we might turn something up. Speaking of, Fox is still remaining Colony. What? He didn't go along with the others. He might know where they went. Good thinking. Might as well find him at the canteen. There was Moose around there. Let's go and talk to him. Hey, all right. This is, uh, so we have, we do have, uh, Zeon's Ascension Quest. Seemingly, at least. So, for Colony 9. This is the pre-Ascension Quest quest. You wanna know where Kite might be going? There's a cave near the old Feroz Hulk at Millic Meadows. We store supplies in there so it could be used as a hideout in an emergency. He could be in there. I'll send you the coordinates to your iris. Thanks, we'll see if he's there. I'm all for preparing for an emergency, but taking from others is not the way. Somehow I think this talk isn't going to go very well. Let's hurry. <laughs> Probably not. When does it ever go well with him? Here. Let's just try talking to him. Commander! Is Kite in there? I need to speak with him. This way. Curse you, Kite! Kite. Oh. What are you doing here? Planning on vis paying any other colonies a visit? The friendly army is still fighting those Gagnus guys. They need our help. Colony now will be fine as long as you're around. So you're not going back? Thought you want to be a big shot commander? We need results. 
We need to know that we can survive using our own methods. You guys are all about empty lip service. So rob or be robbed out there. All right, here. What do you charge by repeating the same thing over and over? S switching between robber and robbed? It doesn't make sense to aim just to survive this moment. That won't fix the roof of the problem. But that's how we've always lived. You don't understand us, Noah. You really think your hollow gestures are going to fix Colony 9? You're right. Which is why you need, need to help us change things. What? I can't do this alone. I need you, Kite. I need you. It's not fair. It's like you ever listen to anything I say. Oh, someone knocked the tin cans over. Ah! Ah, help me! The bonnets are attacking. What's going on? Kite, the egg zombies here. They're attacking our fuck. What now? Sparks and ashes. Sparks and asses. Engage the enemy! You lot! We're from Colony 9 too. Yeah, obviously we're going to pitch in. Thank us later. Ah! They're coming! Let's go. Beat their asses! I swear to God, I have beaten this one dude up a billion times. <laughs> ah! After a while, you start recognizing a lot of the same faces. Ah, fucking die out of you! Sorry, I'm just like over 20 levels higher than them. Sorry, right, they still have a chance though. They can totally beat me. I gotta be careful, all right? I gotta be really careful. They don't just fucking blow me out of the water. If I let my guard down for even fucking a second, I could just drop dead. Any, any moment, any moment now. I win. Ah! Stop this. Hey, what are you doing? Don't need to kill anyone. Go on, get the stuff out of here, you weirdo. Ah! If you don't kill them, they're only gonna get come back here. Then you best be someplace else, innit? Ah! Kevin's soldiers. That sound. Was that? I think they might have shot that dude running out of there. Hey! Listen, we're from Colony 9. Why were these Agnes standing? Huh? Ah! Why? Colony 9, you're the ones that betray the castle. Now die, all of you! I don't think I like these guys. Guess we're doing this then. Hey, from Kevis. Can we really find our own soldiers? Hell yeah, we can. We fought all of you at some point, remember? I sure don't. <laughs> I never get tired of just starting off the fight with that. Fucking just rolling into that. It's fucking two gunshots right to their balls. All right, sending them on to hell. Now everyone's against us and it's all your fault! It's all your fucking fault, Noah! You did this! How can we survive like this? And that's why we need you so much, Kite. What? Otherwise our forces will take a hit? Kite, you know I'll go anywhere with you. So will you at least listen to what Zion has to say? He must be curious. Agonizing over it's all a waste of time. Just listen for five ticks and make up your mind. What happened to those feel, failed fields of yours, anyway? The results aren't great. It takes time and patience to find crops suitable for the soil. Thought today would be a failure, too. Challenge the unknown isn't easy. So I was so resistant. You don't understand us. But I understand you, Kite. What? That was fucking music. Things fall apart. I take full responsibility. So there has to be someone to replace me as the person who supports everyone. And that's me? Colony and I must feel the same way. You helped me support them. Together. You're the only one I can ask only person I can ask. Kite. Five ticks are up. I'll help you until we find a better alternative to your plan. I bear responsibility too. 
as a future commander. Very well. Thank you. Did it settle? For now, at least. All right. Let's get back to Colony 9. Okie dokie. Guy and his friends reflected again on their freedom from the flame clock and decided to return to Colony 9 to work together with Zeon after all. I hope everyone's getting along. All right. You're done being a bitch. Finally. Trust. Oh, yep. And we got a question mark there. The time has come. Hey, don't you dare eat those potatoes. Whoa, dude. No need to yell at us. We gotta see you, spuds. Hey, you're making it sound like I'm being stingy. I'm just worried. Cause a lot of folks are getting ill eating stuff that's not in the manual. You think those potatoes are the issue? Probably. I've taken to calling them imitators. You know, like emetic? <sighs> it's less funny when I explain. Anyway, I've been warning everyone, so I thought it best to give you a heads up, too. Well, that's pretty unpleasant. There are other problems besides those. Better off talking to the others directly. Sorry, I wish we had better news for you. We could at least learn how to cultivate the fields properly. Reasons to evolve. That's a fucking looking potato, Jesus Christ. Food shortages sounds pretty grim. They've been worn down mentally and physically. We have to act now. <sighs> this smell. I feel for the poor servers that ate the imitators, but on the other hand, Thinking about its potential as a weapon, if Agnes were ever to raid us for food. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Yeah, that's one way to think about it. The fucking die in those potatoes. Though the FBI have their mind to eat that weird looking alien brain thing. Hey, man, to, to begin with, to say, uh, my insides, uh, uh, uh. Oh, no, not you too. I told you not to eat those stupid well, spuds. Thank you, every Fuck it. You guys talk while I'm listening to these guys. Makes it all the more precious. So much for Zeon's little experiment. We got a hold of him, thinking we could grow our own food. Wouldn't we have all been growing out our own food ages ago if it was really that simple? So with the fields, we'll be able to easily harvest our own food if we take care of them properly, right? It's not going so great right now. We're going to be in trouble if it carries on like this. Yeah, just got to water it, dude. Just water it and put it in the field. It's not that complicated, really. Maybe throw some doo-doo on it, too. That helps sometimes. The doo-doo. I've been wondering, how's the Colony 9 Farming Initiative getting along now? Well, we've been tilling the fields and planting seeds. But they just won't grow. Even when it looks promising, the batch fails. Even with glitter radishes? Those were in the manual. No luck whatsoever. Wish you could simply ask those radishes what the problem is. Our oh, man's gotta be pretty desperate if he wants to talk to the vegetables. Well, if you don't get an answer from them, why don't we ask Juniper about it? Colony Tao's got plenty of veggie growing in, that, in the area. True. Tao has consistently proven their self-reliance, even without getting support from the ca castle. They may be able to impart some know-how. That's cool. That's actually a really neat idea, because, yeah, on the complete opposite end of this, right, Tao is like the, the do it or suffer kind of colony. And re it's re relied very little on anybody else. Colony Tao. Juniper's a good friend of ours. I'm sure they'll be able to help us. <laughs> what immaculate timing that I decided uh, to do their uh, <laughs> quest today, too. Understood. Then I'd like to inquire without delay. Could I ask you to accompany me? I'm coming with you whether you like it or not. Ain't that what friends are for? Thank you, Uni. Ah, before we depart. You want to stop by Kite's place, right? I was thinking it'd be a good idea to iron things out with him first, too. Well, then, we have the same agenda. Uh, you're not going to keep us all in the loop here. Come on, guys. We're taking some of the toxic potatoes with us. Perhaps Juniper will be able to advise us on the matter. Oh, I'll say so next time. The Mickey Mountain of Arikil lands. Stop pouting. Shut up! Who's pouting? I'm pouting, you're pouting! Shut up! Shut up! Good talk, guys. All right, well, Kite was literally right across the table from us when we said that conversation. He probably heard literally everything we said. Is none of this voice? What the hell? So you're going to Colin Town and meet some archer that knows the veggies. Exactly. We're thinking of discussing the issue with the fields in person, and well, why don't you tell? Why don't you tell me this sooner? I'll get Fox the others to hold the fort while we're away. We're away. You guys, going ahead. Well, you're coming as well now. I had to say I'd work with you, didn't I? Yeah, but we don't want you to work with us. Everyone be be so relieved we can get some good news out of this. All right, then I'll see you there. Oh, and I'd like to bring along those those potatoes if you don't mind. Take as many as you like. Just. Care, take care, you don't mix them up. 
mix them up and end up with a stomach ache. Right then, I'll see you, Colony Tau. <laughs> Imitator. Yay, finally, Zeon finally formed a bond with somebody. Even if it wasn't a, a good bond. It's just so verdant here. Very different from back home. Both places have their merits. I like Colony 9 too, of course. The fields are over there. I am always agog at the splendor of these fields. This field, how ample its furrows. Yes, I know, Zeon, it is very ample. Verdant, ample, and many things. They seem to be growing nicely. Yes, they should be ready for harvest soon. <laughs> Not radioactive in the least. Get them just as soon as they start to wilt. You let them wilt, even after nurturing them so carefully. You get a larger yield this way. Incredible. So, they're not actually dying, but rather making way for new life. Much like us. Now that you mention it, yes. All life is built upon some kind of sacrifice. Indeed. Life is a cruel thing. Now that we are free of our flame clock, I am all the more aware of this fact. I don't believe we've been acquainted yet. Zeon, commander of Colony 9. I do apologize for this sudden visit. Juniper, I also act in the capacity of commander for Colony Tau. We're here today to ask for your advice. Oh, do tell. Hmm. In the natural world, some plants contain toxic elements, usually to fend off predators. I'd guess that these belong to that category. I was afraid of this. It must have been frustrating. Yes. For the whole colony. I don't mind the toil myself. Such was my decision. But as for my friends, I'd rather... they simply enjoy the result. I understand. I know that feeling. I'd like to suggest a different crop, drawing from our experience here. Would you wait here a moment, please? Phew! Finally caught up! You took your sweet time. Sorry, I lost my bearings. So, uh, did you figure out the issue? Oh, sorry to keep you. Look here, these will grow even in the harshest. <laughs> Oh God. And you are? Uh, Kite. I love you. Lieutenant from uh, Connolly 9. Hello, Kite. Sparkles. I'm Juniper. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh. Ah! What the? Why is my chest? Um. Uh, just ignore me. I'm fine. Are those my imitators? Oh, yeah. They do look similar. They're not, right? No, they're toxic. I knew it. This is one of Agnes's kite. It's true. When considering root vegetables, poisonous tubers are relatively common. However, these spongy buds are... Huh? <laughs> Take a bite of that shit. It's sweet. Already more than edible. You mean it's safe? Really? Yes. I think I'd bake them first myself. <laughs> Science, Lance. These buds, they're the pride and joy of our colony. Do you just eat a raw so potato there? Them. Really? I want to eat their spuds. I don't... Where do you find this trust? These were our enemies. Yes, but not now. I get that. I know that. But still, if only you weren't Agnion. Just ignore him. He's always like this. I'm sorry we put you through that. It's perfectly fine. I think you should talk to your soldier in private, though. Let me be clear. We do not bear any ill will toward Colony Tower, nor do we... I didn't mean as a commander. More as one person to another. Pearson. Your friends. Didn't you want them to be happy? 
rather than toiling and struggling in vain. Uh, and one more thing. I really like these two. The pivotal factor. These two characters, the Juniper and Zeon. Check to make sure that there's earth wormwood growing in your fields. I'll forward the steps you'll need to take to your iris for reference. <laughs> Did I say something funny? No. I'm just pleasantly surprised at how earnest you are. I'll take a look as soon as we're back at the colony. Oh, and if you've any problems on your end, would you allow us to lend our support? Problems? It wouldn't feel right if the goodwill only went one way. Am I right? Somebody need a I tag? I understand. Let me consider. I'm glad we could talk. We'll make some wonderful fields yet. I look forward to that day. Oh god. Fuck it's Grace Error. I hope everyone's <sighs> getting along. That smell. That smell. <laughs> Finds interesting. To be fair, Juniper is a cutie patootie. Hey, the colony relations changed. Yay! God, Colin Tell, I'm friends with everybody. But yeah, but I really like Xeon and Juniper, honestly. I'm actually, I actually like that both that they ended up being the uh, factors that tie together here. Like, I'm actually happy to see them communicating with each other. Like, such a simple thing, right? Like, all they're doing, the doing is trying to learn how to grow vegetables and make food. But it's surprisingly sort of engaging and fascinating watching them try to figure it out and reaching out to others to to get advice and learning to learn to cooperate. Hey, you know what happens if you pull out earthworm? It's roots wriggle around and stuff like they're alive. Gives me the creeps. Stop trying to worm your way out of this. Wah, wah. According to Juniper's information, the presence of earthworm wood improves the soil's drainage. In other words, it makes for earth that is best suited for potato growing. All right, already. I guess we just get on with it, yeah? We just get on with it. Needs more doo doo in the soil. I can't find a single one of them. I guess it's not the best soil. I knew it was just some kind of trick. There was no way it was going to be that easy. Look here, you. Enough, Lance. Kite, I know you're worried about the fields. Come over here and let's talk. No need. I don't have anything to say to you. Oh my god, dude, really? Right. Um... We probably want to check out some other sites, I guess. Right. There should be some untended land not far from the colony. Let's do a sweep. We'll update you if we find anything. Sparks. What's wrong with me? I don't know. <laughs> the whole time you're like... I want you to include me in all the stuff, and then we try to include you, and you're like, yeah, fuck you. Ugh. At odds. Fuck you now. Fuck you. Oh, we got some soil next to some water here. Could be some good irrigation. There we go. Earthworm wood. That was fast. Ugh. Don't worry, it's not gonna bite. I'm not worried about it biting. It's gonna slither. Looks like we found our spot. I'll inform Kite. You think he'll actually help us? Don't worry. He's a bit delicate in some areas, but when he starts something, he will see it through. Hmm? What is it? I lost contact. What a jerk. Now he won't take your calls. Whoa, now. We should probably hear his side of the story, yeah? Let's stop stirring the pot. I've already talked to him. But it didn't prove very effective. He's taken this personally, so it'll probably take some time. Both of you are being too quick to judge. Don't be so hasty. No, fuck you. And fuck him. Hasty? Me? Is that like Juniper said? You need to speak to him man to man, not soldier to soldier. Like how you talk to Lance. Oh, yeah. Why are you and Lance always fighting anyway? He just gets on my nerves. Sorry, what? Right back at you, pal. Excuse me? I don't think that counts as fighting, Senna. Yeah, they're just having some banter. That's how you should be with Kite, too. 
Yeah, call him a little bitch. You're always bitch. talking on a commander lieutenant level. I hadn't realized. So I've been issuing him orders instead of talking to him on an equal footing. Talk to him again. I think it'll go better this time. Yes. Perhaps it will. I'll try. <laughs> really? I mean, it seemed like he was pretty, pretty, like, I don't know, pretty uh, casual about when he was like, hey, like, come talk to me about how you're feeling. And he's like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> no, instead, I guess you gotta go up to him and be like, why, why are you being such a dickhead? What? Fuck you, man. What the hell? Just fucking get over it. Jesus. Ask Juniper out on a date and stop being such a pussy, bitch. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I, I guess it just seemed too official. I don't know, man. I definitely was not getting that vibe from Xeon at all, but I slap the shit out of this boy. Smack. Hey, Kite. What do you want? What do you want? We've good news. We found a plot that would be perfect for farming. Really? That's great. Uh, I mean, well, that's just great in the eye rolling sense. So you won't help us out? Well, I never said that. Talk to us, boss. You're going to get your hands muddy or not? Yes. All right. I'll do it. I'll do my snuffing job. Okay, so what are we planting? Spongy spuds. Juniper's already told us how to grow them. Oh, here we go again. Don't grumble. That potato was truly delicious. Fine. Whatever. Just give me the spuds. <sighs> What? Of course. We still need potatoes to plant. You didn't get them ready? Uh, we were so focused on looking for earthworm wood. <sighs> it happens. This isn't like you, Commander. Did you eat something funky? Nobody's perfect. Even the most scrupulous perfectionist is liable to err on occasion. <laughs> All right. Just hurry up and get some. Spongy spuds, right? Let's start with about ten of those. We'll gather them as fast as we can. Shall we meet again in the fields? Sure thing. Just send me the location by Iris. I think this character is easily one of the most obnoxious characters I've come across. Kai, Kai sucks. He fucking sucks. I don't understand his like motivations at all. It just seems like he's being an asshole for no reason. Like even when we're trying to be respectful and nice about it, he's just like, I just, I don't, I, I don't get it. Oh shit, I actually now gotta go collect the, the spongy spotty spuds or whatever the hell it was. And I think I'm only gonna be able to do that from running around. I'm just gonna assume they're over near Colony Town. Unless I could buy them at the shop, that would be convenient. Nope. Gather 10 spongy spuds in the Mockville Wildwood. Oh, over here. Actually, at least it gives, me, it gives me a spot. That's good. I hate the ones where it's like, just go find them out and about somewhere. We don't know. We're not telling you where. You just got to figure it out. <gasps> Potatoes everywhere. Uh, uh, okay. Da, 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 da. Now we can finally get planting. No, that step comes last. First, we need to till the soil so that the seed potatoes can take root more easily. So what's that actually mean? Till. I think I'm a bit lost. It means you have to punch it, Senna. You the soil to trap the air in it, it seems. According to Juniper, there are three main layers of soil. Yeah, yeah, so we just rough it up a bit. I get you. Lands. The crudeness of your summaries never ceases to amaze me. There's not much point to it all, though, is there? Come on now. Don't be like that. Let's just do what we can. But it'll only take two ticks. You and your ticks, man. It's not about speed. We need precision here, folks. It's all about the ticks, damn it. Just follow the procedure I sent to your irises. Ask me if there's anything you're unclear on. Okay then, guys. Let's do this. Ah, rake the field. Fuck it, look at him. He's doing he's kind of over here doing dick. Sorry, beat his ass, Riku. Beat his ass. This is looking good. 
That was pretty fun, hey, Mimi? And now we water them. Ugh, I wish I was the one being watered. A stink of dirt. Should we wait for the rain in this instance? Yeah, I think it's best if we let nature take care of the rest. I get the feeling we should interfere as little as possible. But rainfall isn't always guaranteed. If you rely too much on the weather, it may come back to bite you. Then, what if you control soil humidity as you wait for the rain? And if ever the rain doesn't come for a while, then you can water your crops yourself. That sounds smart. Let's wait a while and see how things unfold. You just leave that to us. Oh, what? Zeon and the others aren't going to stick around here forever. Who else is there? Besides, it'll only take two ticks. <laughs> Shut up, Eastman! Kind. Can I trust you to handle it? Yeah, go on then. Come back and have a look after the rain, though, would you? Right, we'll do that. Have we had that conversation with him yet? If only my presence brought the rain. Once again, I'm powerless. Indeed, that's definitely where the problem lies. Oh, really? I actually have to wait for rain? Interesting. That's the first time I've ever had to wait for a specific weather. There's a question mark over here. Splish Splash! The fuck is this? Rain! It's named for type of weather extreme damp. Mood is Splish Splash. It also generates ten toward dampness. Casting for a vote of sympathy, but no one one bite. My master Splash 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 Moisture on Breeze. Splash 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 Cast Claws, Friends Word. Gonna cost you. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, you just, you just, ah, uh, ha, ha. If you don't want to wait for it, you can just talk to this guy. He'll fucking make the rain happen. Sure, I have a billion dollars. Why not? I think she'll add a few more side dishes to mix me. The stress will take it from here. You see the piss right. god powers. How inconvenient. How inconvenient. No, more like very convenient, Tyon. Spectacular. Always nice to have more friends. That's hilarious. And he got added on here. Good. Well, I'm glad the game just put that put that god no pawn over there to, to just fix this for me. We know waiting around could be a pain in the ass. Just just talk to me, dude. So, uh, why isn't anything budding? The seed potatoes are rotting. Perhaps we gave them too much water. Oh, no. Does the soil not drain properly? Or was it something else? It's my fault. I was giving them extra water from time to time because I didn't want them drying out. Fuck. Fuck! I thought I was being careful. Never considered that I might be overdoing it. <sighs> well, we'll just have to try this again. Let's wait for the next rainy spell. Sorry, guys. Damn it Don't all. blame it on yourself. Yeah, but if I hadn't done this, we wouldn't have to... Oh, if only! What's done is done, man. You can't change the past. So let's just recoup our losses and do even better next time round. Huh. That's a good attitude, Kite. I like it. I'm good either way, to be honest. Yeah, I'll just wait a few ticks <laughs> for the next thing. Classic Eastman. Guess I'll stick it out for a while longer. Thanks, Kite. Kai, that's so unlike you. Usually you're just a big dickhead about it. Credit where it's due. That was actually pretty good. His words came from the heart. I think that's why it resonated with them. Kite's always been annoyed at being second best. He knows the frustration of not living up to his own standards. And that really struck a chord. Complimenting others' weak points has always been a talent of his. It's something I could never do. Hey! I think we'll go ahead and till the soil again. Take out the rotted spuds. So, if you don't mind... Got it. We'll grab a new batch for you. I'm really sorry about this. We'll need you to get ten more seed potatoes. Oh, then. you fuckers! Don't worry. We'll pick a really good selection this time. Oh, you, you wait. fuckers! Are you... F no, I don't... Oh, my God. Uh, okay, this one's pushing it a little bit. This one's pushing it a little. I, I get it. I commend. I commend them. Like I commend the that we didn't get it right the first time. And in for like, and if by a story perspective, yeah, that's uh, that's good, right? Because like, that's that's realistic. However, by a gameplay perspective, fuck.
fuck you. <laughs> Maybe run all the way back here and collect fucking 10 of these stupid things again. God damn it. Okay. It's so every last time. Now we wait for the rain. Our talk to Swiss Splash Come again. On, buds. Start your budding already. I've got a good feeling about this one. <sighs> Splish Splash. Yep, Splish Splash is back. Splish Splash in the house. Make that rain come down. Splish Splash. Take my $10,000. Rain, time of weather, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, just take my money. Wait, what? What happened? Rain, a blessing. What? I don't know what happened the first time. I skipped over it so fast. You didn't just take my money the first time, did you? You better not have. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> no idea, whatever. <laughs> I guess it was bad time. Or, or maybe it only has a chance of happening. I have no idea. Whatever. Get away, you dumb bonnet. Yay. <laughs> we did it. They're budding. Talk about suspenseful. Manana excited for yummy harvest. Hope they grow up big and strong. Then a bunch of buns to come over and eat yeah. them all. I'm like, we need Fuck! to take good care of them. We need to get a fence. Looks like it's going well. Indeed. Now we can breathe a sigh of relief. We'll want to take care of the fertilizer now, right? How do we distribute it? Actually, I have just the person for that. Earl's a dab hand at gardening. I'm sure he'll be able to help us out if we explain our situation. I'd appreciate that. Incidentally, where did Kite go? Stormed off after saying he'd done his field tending duty. Guess he's still not over it. I suppose it's time for us to pack up. We can't just leave that guy alone. He's always been there for us, through thick and thin. Has he though? I know. You don't need to worry about us. Make sure my lieutenant gets the care he deserves. Will do. Oh, and I'm pretty sure Earl will explain it for you, but you know the fertilizer? Seems you make it by crushing up seeds, bones, and plants and mixing it all together. Oh, and he also said that having a few helix conches on you would save him some trouble. You'll get that done in ten ticks. Or else... Shut up, Eastman! <laughs> that might be a little tight for us, but we can certainly try. Everyone's getting along. It's easy for you, Zion. Everybody loves you because you're all nice and shit. You're not. So I'm, a, I'm. I'm a little confused by this one. I'm not gonna lie. I'll be very curious if anyone else feels that way. May I'm just not. May I'm missing something or I'm missing like good context here. But I really am not finding a whole lot redeemable about. Like he said that one good line there for his pal, right? Uh, in the last one, and like he's always been there for this. Like, dude, he's been like a. He's been such a like diva drama queen about fucking everything and about things i don't even understand what the hell he's getting pissy about i feel like everyone's just kind of like letting all that shit slide all the time with him uh commander see a long time no see i'll take any materials you have for the fertilizer oh god i hope i have uh oh thank god blah and uh blah blah, blah. get that special fertilizer whoa they got so big Lively. Applying fertilizer ought to further foster their growth. So we just sprinkle the stuff on top and then we're done. Wrong. They need to be able to absorb the nutrition easily. So first, we combine the fertilizer with some soil. Then you spread the mixture around the roots. So specific. I've more or less memorized Juniper's info now. Let me know if there's anything you're unsure of. I can see his time in the survey branch has seeped in. Right down to his marrow. <laughs> I suspect he might have actually been born with it. He's just the meticulous type. That's about all we can ask for. I'm grateful. I'll let him know. All right. Guess it's back to the grindstone. Now to wait for more rainfall. <laughs> God damn it. Ooh, I'm shaking with excitement. Splash, splash. Are you really? Well, yeah, we all worked hard for this. You tell him, love. Yeah, love. Let's see what the coming rain brings. Yeah. Where's my good old pal Splish Splash? He knows exactly what I want in this my time of need. 
<laughs> it's just kind of funny. I mean, like, I, I get exactly what they're doing here, and I do appreciate to an extent the, the idea that we are working hard, we're growing things, right? Well, and it's taking some extra work and some time, and I, I like that this one isn't really about, like, fighting an enemy or anything, really. It's just about doing this. Unfortunately, what they're having me do is super fetch questy, and overall, it's just kind of like, you know, sort of what they pretty much have me doing, like, all the other quests of like Xenoblade 1 and shit. We're just go fetch this bullshit. Come back here. I go fetch some more of it. Come back here. Do it again. Do it again. I mean, I guess you can't, you can't really expect them to do like a farming simulator just for one mission. But I almost feel like it needs a farming simulator to not be so, to not feel so obnoxious. I don't know. I got to get my hands dirty. Yes, yes. Okay. So now I'm curious. If it doesn't happen, what, what does he say? It here did. It, oh, it did. Spectacular. I skipped over the message too quickly or something. I don't know. I think I have like, what, what do I, how much money do I even have? 619,000. Nothing to spend it on except for rain. Wait till they start to wilt, which they are, so. These little guys have come a long way. Day in springtime of youth. Growing up into five young potatoes. <laughs> Nothing gets Manana excited like the prospect of a full belly. Can you blame her? Why have they changed color? Huh? That's just wilting, right? Oh no, they're withering. But that's good, Why, right? Why though? It can't be time to harvest them yet, surely. I dread to think so. But it could be one of the diseases mentioned in the reference materials. The damage seems to spread from the lesions here on the root. They bear resemblance to the black rot. Oh, they better not be. That's supposed to cause rapid decay. Spreads easily too. No! Let's check the others for similar symptoms. On the double. Lend me a hand, everyone. <gasps> oh, God. This one's failed too. Poor things. This one's failed too. Oh, no. These look healthy. Yay. Yay. Healthy. No, he failed. Failed. Healthy. Failed. Judging by the state of the stims, I think we're on the mark. It's the black rot. No question. But they were looking so healthy until just a little while ago. Can we help them somehow? There's only one solution, and that's to dispose of all the infected stims. Before the others all go bad. That's what Juniper's data says, anyhow. That's less help and more harm reduction, though. Can we just pluck the bad leaves and leave the rest there? No, we have to pull out the whole stem. We do? You realize what you're saying after all the hard work we put in? I wish we could save them all, really, I do. But the rot is spreading fast. Pull out the bad ones and that's the end of it. There's not much point in trying to find alternatives because at this rate... A fierce debate you're having here. What are you so laid back about, Chief? It's going in our future on the line here. You're absolutely right. And I'm not being laid back. We simply have to pull out the afflicted stems to avoid losing everything. There's no other way. Weed out the bad to save the rest. Something quite profound. You may not think it, but I often lack the backbone need of a commander. Even this far into my terms, I often faltered and vacillated, questioning my actions. That is until you taught me about the importance of failing and starting anew. It was an invaluable lesson to learn. Had to really hammered into that hard head of yours for it's stuck, though. I'll take that as a compliment. If CS not giving up, then neither am I. We'll do what we can. We'll do it right. That's right. We better start now. Time waits for no spud. Right. Time to pull out the bad stims. My friends, thank you. Damn it, we gotta fucking pull this shit up by the root. I swear to God, these fucking potatoes. These fucking potatoes still fuck up, and I gotta go get more overseas again. I'm gonna be so pissed. I swear I'll save you. Don't fill me now. We'll save you, spuds. It's for the good of the field. It's for the good of the colony, damn it. Get that shit out of here. That looks to be all of them. We'll have to monitor them for a short while. Take note of the state of the stems, not just the color of the leaves. 
We should fix up the soil too, right? Think so. It's supposed to be bad if the underground bits are exposed to light. Might as well pull up the weeds while we're at it too, huh? Don't pull the potatoes themselves out. Mate, I can tell the difference. And then we hope for rain. <laughs> splish Splash, where are you? What's wrong? Oh, I was just thinking how times change. It wasn't so long ago that my soul thoughts were about keeping the flame clock topped up. Now here I am, worrying about soil and potatoes, looking up at the sky. I could never have imagined myself in such a position. True. Who'd have thought you'd chomp on a raw potato or admit to lacking a spine? <laughs> Please, don't remind me. I feel flushed just thinking about it. But I think we've grown a lot closer as a result. I feel like I know you better. Sometimes you don't really get to know someone until you've clashed first and then sorted out your differences. <laughs> you don't beat around the bush, do you? Anyway, I think we've done what we can here. Let's report back into Juniper. Don't you fucking die on me now, you dumb potatoes! Black Crow, you say? Did you deal with it accordingly? We pulled out all the stims out of discoloration, but we're not sure if that's going to be enough to stop the spread. We were wondering if you'd take a look for us. It's not a bad time for you. From what you're telling me, that might be the best course of action, yes. You're really having some bad luck. By the way, do you have any you want to keeping watch over the fields? Keeping watch? I mean, like a patrol? Such as Colony 9 that are strapped for food, remember? You never know who or what could be lying in wait. Yeah, you're right. We'll get someone in on it right away. Thank you. Anyway, I'll start getting ready for this trip to Colony 9. Okay, I swear to God, if we come back, that's just gone on me. So fucking angry. So fucking... Sounds a little rowdy over there. Uh, is that? It came from over there. Let's hurry. Oh, God. So much for not fighting things. No! The monkeys are attacking our fields! Or what are they? Throw these things. You are not getting through me! Kai's gonna fight them all himself. I won't let their efforts go to waste! Kite! You lot! Talk later. Kai's just getting like eaten alive by these things. Ah! Ah! Let's teach those creatures never to set foot upon this land again. Don't you dare touch my we will potatoes! We this place with our lives. Show them there is strength in unity. Durr. 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 No, don't touch the fields. You're stepping all over them. Fucking die, all of you. This is for Mother Earth. Arrgh. Yeah, here you motherfuckers. I swear you got that battle killed my potatoes. I'm blaming it all on Kite. People, how are we? We're fine, at least. They really tore up the place, huh? Sorry. I couldn't stop them. You fucking failed us, Kite. It's not your fault, Kite. Besides, you were the first to come running here. Don't feel bad. You were tending the fields, weren't you? Trying to keep them safe. The whole time. I couldn't just sit back. But... It was hardly any point. You shouldn't put yourself down. You? What are you? If I could just... That's a big old potato. Guess I don't know my own strength. Thank you very much. Are those? I'm afraid I failed to mention something. Spongy buds are quite special. They actually use the field itself as a means of storage. That's why you recommended growing them. Astounding. 
Sorry I doubted you. The reason I didn't trust you before, it wasn't because you were Agnian. No, it's because I was weak. Now, I don't expect you to forgive me or anything like that. But I know I caused hurt. I'm so sorry. Fuck you, guy. Now, come on. Raise your head. You refused to give in. You struggled to change things for the better. The way I see it, that's not weakness. Not from what I hear, anyway. You don't... No, you... You don't even know me. Making a change, kind. It takes guts. You're a good man. We didn't admit it. But then again, neither did you. You know what? No one's ever told me that. I'm sorry about that. I think from now on, I'll make an effort to remind you. Kite, you're an asset to us all. Commander, could I... Could you perhaps help me with a problem? If your offer of support still stands, that is? Sure. Ask us anything. Would it be possible to permit me to visit Colony 9 more frequently? Hmm? That's no issue for me. I'm not directly asking for help with a specific problem, but I'd like it if we could build friendly relations between us. If that's all right. Now I see. Feel free to visit anytime. <laughs> we'll go on a date. Same here. Uh, very happy to have you. Thank you very much, Kite. What's all this then? Kite's acting weird. Why does Kite have his horny face on? About is what will happen to the tending of the fields? I'll be sure to ask them. But maybe not right now. Just look. They're having so much fun. Juniper, where did you get pants like that? Where? Did Rex sell them to you? I'll kill him. I'll kill him all. Oh, I mean, that was nice. Like, I did like the quest. I do think it was like a, a, a sort of a nice change of pace. I think it's just some of the fetch questing did get a little like, okay, you're pushing your, you're pushing a little far here. And I also just, I like, Kai was good in the end, but up to that point, I still just, I don't know. I didn't totally understand what the fuck he was doing. I guess he just had no confidence in himself, but then he just, threat like lashed at everybody else I, I don't know but he can't but he pulled through the end and we had a nice ending at least i i think the most of it, most of it too i just really enjoy seeing zeon and juniper like interact with each other and i don't know i just like juniper a lot i like zeon a lot too he's cool in the midst of the splendor and evolving challenges zeon was, was not only able to establish a new crop field but also build a precious sense of camaraderie and also rank up now you guys did tell me that his his class at the start is not great but his uh, but as you get towards like the later levels or like uh, the higher levels, it actually ends up becoming one of the uh, better tank classes in the game. So cool with this. Kali Tao is just friends with everybody as they should be. Uh, that's cool. Now you have to see a bunch of people working the fields out here. That's that's neat. What about Splish Splash though? Splish Splash, our true savior of this quest. Spectacular. Yeah, it is spectacular. Whatever I can talk to Splish Splash whenever I want to make, make it rain. Just in case I just... I just fucking feel like it. so spectacular, baby. But all right, guys. I think with this, we uh, are finally done with uh, all of the side content. We did it. We did it. We survived chapter five. So I mean, I think there could still be more. I don't know. After we do some more main story. But it sounds like this next main story part is going to be pretty significant. and might go for a while. So I do think this is going to be it for a good little Every bit. Every day is a training day. But I hope that you guys uh, enjoy this deep dive into all this uh, this side stuff. I really enjoyed it. And I really hope you guys did too. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe if you're not already. Become a picky penguin. Aboard the SLP. Where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. So I have been told that this next part, this next story part is actually like pretty extensive. And it goes on for a while. And I've actually been recommended to just kind of play through it all the way through so it's possible that next episode might just be split up into like two or three parts depending on how long it goes on for but apparently it's not there's not really like a good stopping point in the middle of all of it 
So probably better for me to just play through and split it up than trying to end the recording in like the middle of an episode. Okay, sounds good. But uh, look forward to it with some more main story next episode, guys. Mio's got to have at least what? A couple hours left, right? <laughs> After all the time we spent on this side stuff. And as always, guys, until next time, stay classy.